Hello everybody, back here in Immersive Intelligence, and we are going to learn how to make a sawmill. Yes, as you can see, it's a little complex, yet simple. Alright, so let's get to it. Alright, going over here. Do, do, do. We have our list of materials. And a leg, three treated wood scaffolding and six mechanical engineering blocks. These are different from the engineering uh, engineering blocks and the heavy engineering blocks. These are mechanical blocks. A little bit different material. Uh, I believe brass is a component mostly of this particular device, but let's go ahead and make it. So, we go over here. This is our first layer. As you can see, we have a mechanical engineering block, two scaffolding, and then in back of that, three mechanical engineering blocks and one scaffolding so you get this kind of nook here I'll call it a nook all right go ahead I was doing this video earlier and uh, we were having some issues here all right so here's the second layer just simply take two more engineering uh, mechanical engineering blocks and place them on top and there you got it you have your uh, sawmill we need to activate it. So we're going to go and click right here on the top of this scaffolding. I don't know if you can click right here too. Oh, just it's scaffolding all together in the center. All right, so now we got this block. What do we do with it? How does it work? Well, it's got some neat graphics. See that over there? We have a tree that's right up in the, our birch log, so we can see that, but nothing else is going on. Well, it takes saw blades. Now, saw blades. There are three varieties. We have iron, uh, which is made out of. Uh, what is it made out of? Find out. Uh, iron gear, uh, gear, and that can be stamped in the press or made by hand. This is made by hand. There's also a stamp that comes with the uh, the uh, press. That's in uh, immersive engineering. We have the steel, same deal. So you steel plates surrounding a steel steel gear. So every every one of these are, are pretty pretty cheap to make. Uh, see it showing the uh, the gear. This is the only way to make this particular gear is to press it out. I believe your steel is done. No, nope. you can do your steel the same. You can press out all the gears that way too. But the tungsten requires the press in order to press it out. So we're just going to go and throw this tungsten blade right into that position. Now we're like, uh, why isn't it working? Well, this is why it's not working. We need it something to spin this. So, alright, so let's get to how do we get this thing working. Alright, so let's go over here. Let's forget this junk. Oop. Let's get rid of you. Get on your home. Okay. So, what is all this junk here? <laughs> well, let's go through it. Um, what we have is we have a transmission block. Instead of using a, uh, a dyno, give me a second, there we go, kinetic dynamo to make energy from, we're going to use a transmission block. So how does a transmission block work? Let's go over here and show you the dynamics of it. So you'll notice that there is a port here and a port here. When you set it down and uh, trans... back and forth. Here we go. All right, here we go. Transmission block. It's going to be at the top. I'm not sure why because water wheels don't kind of work that way. But anyways, to get this thing to move, it'll happen. Uh, you can move it around the block. You can keep on clicking it and it will just kind of spin around the block. But we want it going uh, left to right or whatever. Horizontal, not vertical. 
So, all right. We know that blue is input and orange is output. So, in order to make this work, we're going to attach our water wheel or our windmill directly to this side. And this side is where we're going to hook up our wheel. So, we know how to make the windmill. That's well, there's a lot of videos on that. Uh, very simple. It's one of the first things that you make to make your some of your power, and it's one of the easiest ways to get power. Uh, but how to make this this stuff? So let's go over here. Let's start with the transmission block. So we're gonna need brass plates. Brass plates are uh, they are magical. Uh, copper and There we go. Copper and zinc. The so zinc in uh, the SBV uh, uh, Epoch mod is, uh, I found it to always be above sea level. So if you're going to try to find zinc, mine into a mountain. If you try to dig underground looking for it, you're not going to find it. You need to be above sea level. That's where your zinc is going to be. And zinc uh, looks like. Uh, Yeah, there we go. There's a good picture of the zinc right there. It's just kind of like a, it's got a few white spots on it. Kind of looks like uh, silver. All right, so that's how you make the transmission block. To make the wheel, let's go over here and find the wheel. Come on, catch up to reality. There we go. So as you can see, brass is going to be the dominant metal that's going to be used for creating these devices. So copper and zinc is, is what you're going to need. Iron rods and more treated wood scaffolding. Makes four wheels, which is great because that's probably all you'll ever need. Because this appears to be one of the few pieces of equipment that requires uh, this type of uh, pulley power. Alright, so the next part is we're going to need one of those and that's called a gearbox. The gearbox is going to give us torque and and um, speed. And torque can be a bad thing because torque can ruin your world. So there's a few things that we got to do because we don't want to we got to go and get output on this side right here. So this is input, which is good. That's what we want. We'll go and throw a wheel on top of that. And then we'll go over here, get underneath this piece of equipment, and tag it. See it says input on the top. We're going to tag it one more time. It's going to say output. So side facing output. All right, so that's going to transfer the energy from this wheel into our, our solar mill. That took a lot of effort. We have belts now. Okay, so what's the difference between belts? We have a cloth belt, a rubber belt, and a steel belt. Steel belt is going to uh, take torque better, uh, but it's going to reduce speed. Rubber is the best of both worlds, and cloth is speed, but too much torque, and I believe it will rip or something like that. Uh, I haven't seen it yet, but that's supposedly what it's supposed to do. Uh, but right now, cloth is going to work perfect for what we're doing. And the wind speed right here is just perfect. This works just like wiring. So, did I hook it up to the wrong piece of equipment? Oh, I was using that one. I use this one. It's too far away. All right. Let's go back to my normal over here. Input on that side. Jump. Jump down here. Doop. 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 Output good and throw wheel should still know where I'm at. Nope, and boom, there we go. Once there's uh energy applied, now we got movement. All right, so let's see what's happening in over on this side. Ah, nothing is happening. Why isn't anything happening? Well, we need some gears, that's where they come in. 
Now, I've looked around and I noticed that in the uh, immersive engineering, uh, it only shows us the tungsten here. I want to try to put steel in here, nothing happens. Iron one in here, boom, 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 nothing happens. But, there you go. We start getting some uh, transfer in theory. If it will, why is it transferring? That's the question. Put some more in there. Mm. It's working. Input. Oh, that side got output. There we go. There we go. Got nice speed, and we got uh, a good torque. Uh, it looks like for the sawmill, we're gonna need to be going about twenty, about twenty speed, and our torque needs to be about eighty. Uh, was that newtons or something? Whatever that stands for. Uh, anything higher than that, and your sawmill is going to explode. Why isn't this transferring? What did we do wrong? So, take a look at this side again. No connection. That's not what I was for. Connection. There we go. Alright, all better. So, here we go. Boom, it is working. It's nice and happy. Oh, look at that. 20 speed and 40 on the torque. So, we're doing great. Sawdust. Sawdust is a secondary by part. I don't really know how to remove it. Maybe it's on this side right here that we remove the sawdust. Let's try that. Sawdust is still there. Now, you see where I put my hopper? That's the level that your, your hopper needs to be at to collect the wood. If you have it down lower, it's not going to work. It might. Let's try something right here, or the saw dust, and see what happens. Let's see if stuff starts routing. Nope. Still haven't been able to get that saw dust out. Oh, look at that. There's a pile of saw dust right there. So I bet if we could go up underneath this thing. There we go. There. That's how we get rid of the sawdust. We put a hopper right underneath there. So let's go ahead and get these guys off. Because these are not valid. This guy is out of the way. So, yes. That's how we deal with people that are not supposed to be on the set. So, collect your wood in this hopper. And collect your sawdust in this hopper. This hopper is basically located underneath this uh, uh, wood scaffolding or the gear device that's over here. That's where it, that's where it will latch on. So there you go. That solves uh, a way to get rid of this. And now you can completely automate this. Ish. Uh, my thought is if we come up over here, drop a hopper. Come on, lag. Let's grab some wood. Perch. Get everything in the world. A bunch of oak. If I can, grab some. Oh. Where did the oak go? As you notice, it moved. Soon. Put that there. And we'll go over here and we'll pull this out there. So you put your hopper on top of where the wood uh, icon looks like, the wood uh, of the log. It will put the, uh, the log in there. Boy, that was hard to say. All right. So here you go. So how you power it? 
And uh, this is the cool, the, you know, I have to, I love the immersive. It's just beautifully designed. Look at the graphic on this. You just, it's just beautiful. You just don't see this in Minecraft. <laughs> so it's, it's a real joy to play. And uh, yeah, I, it will get boring, but just look at this. This is just beautiful. So anyways, um, there we have it. We have the sawmill. Very easy to construct. Go ahead and pop this one really quick so everybody can see the glory of it. Boom. So first stage, second stage. That. You're going to need those. You're going to need belts. You're going to need at least one belt. But when you make them, I believe you make like six at a time, so that's that's just bonus. Uh, and wheels, you're going to need mission block. I will make another video if there is a my wheels visual machine care box. See if I get that. Oh wait, that's just chisel, is it? No, that's okay, gearbox. Power on it. Let me get some power over here. Oh, we should probably uh, also view just how uh well this is when it blows up. Mechanical block will give me something alternate than the experimenting together. Am I doing anything? Would not know because I don't have the sword blade. Here, put some wood in there. Some wooden. Nope. I don't know how to use this, do I? So, I don't think there is a motor. Motor. Boat. Here's a steel motor. I don't know if this will accomplish what we need does seem a little interesting. There's no it shows us it can do something interesting. It would be nice to use the power for all power anyways. The rubber belt to investigate this. I don't know what these things do. They're magic. They're not components of these. These are, are easy to make. There you go. Cut fabric, leather, and a treated stick. Boom. Gets you six. Go with these. If you're just using this nice simple method, you can use a steel. Steel uh, looks good. Like I said, uh, it looks like a tank track. I can show you really quick if you guys want to see it. There we go. Here, and this guy. Boom. It's nice and pretty. 
we did want to show you one other thing here too. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop off this guy right here. Gonna go and do something crazy. Bells. So I'm gonna pull out a gear. See how this works. It's here, that there. Transfer this over here. Here. There we go. Power should transfer all the way to here. Now we got stuff. But the problem is it's gonna give us enough speed. Now, see there's no activity happening. So what's what's going wrong? Well, it's because we're killing our speed by transferring the power too many times. So now we're running into the, the issue of Well, maybe we can put another gear in there. Okay, well let's do that. I'm gonna see if this thing is just we got too much torque and it's going to explode. Alright, so when that happens, it's not too bad unless you're standing right next to it. Because you're going to be able to harvest all your junk. You're not gonna lose any stuff. The only thing that's gonna blow up off the equipment is this one scaffold. Just really just put it back together. You'll be cool. So the explosion isn't too bad. But it is something to worry about. So, just uh, be cautious. Once you start going over your torque, see how the torque is just skyrocketing. Alright, so they've got it. Um, we have a system going on. Like I said, the system that worked for me. This guy right here, and this one, so this transmission box, so we are just going right to the gearbox. Uh, it doesn't have enough speed to go directly to the sorb, so you, you have to, this is how I see it work. This is how I, I've got it to work. If somebody in the comments has got a, a better uh, schematic or scheme of how they do this, how they can do this with electric energy, that would be great. Uh, just show me how to do it. Right. So, do, do, do. So, there you go. There you have it. That is the sawmill by Sip Engineering. All right, well, have fun. Enjoy.